We're harvesting and storing apples today on Pots and Trials, which is brought to you with the support of Mr Fothergills and Cobra Garden. Well, it's been a really good apple year for lots of people this season. Um, I think the mild spring that we had, good start to the summer. We did get some tricky weather in the summer, admittedly, but overall, I think apples have done really well and trees are carrying a good crop, as is this one here in my little orchard. This is a cooking variety, a lovely, quite an early cooking apple. This one is called Norfolk Beauty and they've got some really good fruits. That's normal size fruit on there. It keeps, but it doesn't keep as well as a Bramley. A Bramley will store right the way through till next spring. Whereas this one, really, we need to eat it for Christmas. And to tell when to pick them is very easy because they all mature at slightly different times. Some apples are ready from August, some we don't pick until late October. So to test when they're ready, it's simply a case of just holding the apple in your hand and giving it a bit of a twist. And if it comes away fairly easily, like that one, that tells us that that is ready to harvest. And we can often tell by the look of it. This one is just starting to ripen a little bit. So I'll try another one there. You just hold them and give them a bit of a twist. And you can see that these are perfect now for harvesting like that. They're hardly taking any twisting to get them off. So once they get to that stage, it is a case of get them off before they fall off, because if they fall to the ground, they're gonna bruise and they won't store as well. So we'll take these over there and look at some others, and then I'll show you how we can store them. apples come in all different shapes and sizes and they've all got their own distinctive flavour. This one is Egremont Russet. So this is quite a late apple, very distinctive in its look. It's got this russety look on the skin there. So it's one that's easy to identify. We don't harvest this one until around the middle of October. So a few weeks yet before we can harvest it. And if I try these, these just aren't going to leave the tree without lots of tugging. So that tells us that it's not ripe. It needs a bit longer on the tree, but they're lovely. They've got a bit of a nutty flavour to them and I love them with a bit of Wensleydale cheese and a bit of crusty bread and they are absolutely delicious so I'll come back to these later on but just bear in mind when you are checking your apples to see if they're ready to pick they don't all ripen at the same time so the apples on the south side or the sunny side of the tree will often colour up more and they'll be ready to pick a few days or a week or two earlier than the ones on the north side which is in the shade so it's a case of working around the tree just testing them and pick them when they're ripe and then you can enjoy them. Any that do fall to the floor prematurely, if they're okay, we pick them up and we use them. Uh, but if they're damaged in any way, then we just put them in with the hens and they love to have a peck at them. So they all get put to good use. So let's take these Norfolk beauties and I'll show you exactly how you can store them. Well, as you can see, we've been busy picking and there's a lot more to go. So it's been a really good year. So we've started to pick a few of the early cookers. Mainly they're the ones that have fallen off in there. The pears have done really well this year. Normally I wouldn't pick them till the end of September, but they were bending the branches down so much I thought they were going to snap so I've had to pick them. I do need to get these away quickly because little Molly here she loves a pear that's her favourite fruit. Pears and raspberries she adores them both. Um, this one here this one is called Katie and this is a lovely eating apple ready sort of from early to mid September so we've finished picking these now. Really sweet apple it juices well you can literally pick these straight from the tree and it's one that you don't keep that long. You're right. Are you okay? Oh dear, do you want a pear? 
you can't keep them that long um, so it's one that you pick and eat within a few weeks but if you do want to keep them a little bit longer then the secret is to keep them somewhere cool so you could put them in a tray like this uh, only store apples that are in really good condition I've just noticed this one it's got a little peck on it there like that so that one will probably end up just being peeled and eaten and you must never store any that have got bruises on because that will rot and it will spread to the others so we're only ever going to store perfect apples in a tray um, or the other way you can do it if you want to especially with apples like this one that aren't going to keep that long and things like the Norfolk Beauty store them in polythene bags just get a, a freezer bag like that place them in it and again <laughs> you're watching you're going to get an apple is that what you're thinking place them in the bag like that and you need about maybe six or seven not too many and then what we're going to do is just gather that together like that and just then you could use a straw i'm just going to suck the air out of it like that twist it round and then we can just put a tie around it molly you're in the way like that molly no they're not for you just to seal that in and if you put those in a fridge in the salad drawer of the fridge they will keep for several weeks or the apples that you pick later will keep right the way through into the winter time so it keeps them in a really really good condition because it's cool and you've sucked the oxygen out of them so you can store apples uh, other than a shed and they will keep really well in small quantities like that and finally when you're out there picking your apples I know you're going to eat a few but just keep an eye on the tree as well look for any signs of disease and I'm touching this last because I don't want to touch the fruits after I've touched this this is an apple that's got brown rot on it and there's one or two hanging in the tree and it's a fungal disease and it gets uh, these spores land on it and then the apple starts to rot very quickly now if you were to put this in an apple store it would spread very quickly across all the other apples and they would just completely rot so what you need to do if you've seen any of these either drop to the floor or they're still hanging on the tree they will dry out and they will mummify and hang there all winter don't leave them pick them off Put them on a bonfire put them in the dustbin don't put them on the compost heap because the spores will spread but you must get rid of them so what i'm going to do now is that's going to go into our dustbin and then i'm going to wash my hands because my hand will now be contaminated with the spores before i touch these so enjoy picking your apples um, and enjoy them all the way through the autumn and the winter just like molly okay no you can't have that it's horrible Well, thank you for watching Pots and Trowels and keep telling all your friends about us. Next time we're going to be catching up with a few jobs in the veg plot and doing a bit of compost. But for now, enjoy your apples. There you go, you can have a bit as well. It's a Katie by the way. <laughs>